Russian forces fired missiles and shells at cities and towns across Ukraine. Attacks that Ukrainian officials say killed at least 17 more civilians. Saturday's attacks come as Russia's military announced it was intensifying the actions of units in all operational areas. Several Russian attacks came before dawn and hit areas in the north, east and south. At least three civilians were killed and three injured in a Russian rocket strike before dawn in one city across the eastern and Donetsk region. Region. At least eight civilians died in Russian attacks to the south in Odessa, a key black seaport. A Russian missile hit a warehouse, engulfing it in flames. Ukrainian officials also fear a new Russian offensive against the northern city of Kharkiv. An Antonov cargo plane operated by Ukrainian airline crashed Saturday near uh, the uh, city of Kavala in northern Greece, according to authorities. Uh, Local residents reported seeing a fireball and hearing explosions for two hours after that crash. The Greek Civil Aviation Authority said that the flight was headed from Serbia to Jordan. The AN-12, a Soviet-built turboprop aircraft, was operated by cargo carrier Meridian. Greek media reported there were eight people on the plane and that it was carrying 12 tons of dangerous materials and mostly explosives. But local officials said that they had no specific information on the cargo and provided varying numbers of people on board. As a precaution, because of the strong smell emanating from the crash site, a coordinating committee made up of municipal police and fire service officials told inhabitants of the two localities closest to the crash site to keep their windows and shut all night and to not leave their homes and to wear masks as well. Meanwhile, U.N. agencies are again warning of rising violence around Haiti's capital, saying 99 people have been uh, reportedly killed in recent gang fighting in uh, the, the site district alone. Saturday's warning came hours after the Security Council approved a resolution renewing the mandate of a U.N. office in the troubled Caribbean nation. U.N. humanitarian agencies say that they're ready to help once it's safe to do so. Spokesman for the U.N. Refugee Agency described those dangerous 934 killings, 684 injuries, 680 kidnappings across the capital in the first half of the year alone, with hundreds more killed or injured, one neighborhood alone this month. U.S. President Joe Biden is promising strong executive action to combat climate change despite setbacks that have restricted its ability to regulate carbon emissions and boost clean energy such as wind power and solar. The U.S. Supreme Court last month limited how the nation's main anti-air pollution law can be used to reduce carbon dioxide emissions from power plants. And last this past week, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin said he wants to delay sweeping environmental legislation that Democrats have pushed as central to achieving Biden's ambitious climate goals. Biden has pledged to cut greenhouse gas emissions in half by 2030, compared with 2005 levels. On Friday, he said action on climate change and clean energy remains more urgent than ever. And recapping our top story, Russian forces have fired missiles and shells at cities and towns across Ukraine. Attacks that Ukrainian officials say killed at least 17 more civilians. And that's in addition to those killed over the weekend.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.